cleaning the motor, center 301A, take two. In this video, the motor is going to be cleaned. And uh, so that's what's going to happen here. I'm going to show, show the three methods of cleaning the three different parts of the, the motor. And uh, that, will be, that will be today's video. In the next video, I will be putting the motor together and uh, having fun with that. So I hope that you enjoy this film that, uh, that you're about to watch and that you learn something from it. Maybe have a little bit of fun along the way. And uh, I did too. So uh, let's get started. Here is the cleaning setup. On the right over here, we have electrical contact cleaner to clean the commutator and all those related parts, that housing and the, the windings in there. So that is a job by itself, just that. These dudes here, these guys here, I'm not really gonna wash, I'm gonna kinda just wipe them down and dust them off. And then this is dishwashing liquid, soap, with warm water, not hot, just warm, lukewarm, probably cool by now. And that's where the bake light and uh, the metallic, this is kind of a, this is the, the bracket that holds the motor in place. And I didn't want to put it in crud cutter because I didn't want the crud cutter to maybe, um, you know, tarnish the finish on it. So, and the bake light certainly isn't going into a crud cutter because it would get tarnished. So that's soapy water. And then here we have the crud cutter for the, the heavy steel parts that can take crud cutter. The, the bottom bearing and the, the, the bearing for that, the, the spring for that, and uh, the tubes and the screws and stuff. So from here, the, the process is gonna be, get these out of the crud cutter and then wash them in the soapy water and then rinse them in clear water and then dry them you know with the hair dryer real quick and then oil them and then remove the excess oil and hopefully they'll be clean there'll be no flash rust and they'll be ready to go back into service same said for this gang of parts here this is a, a lesser clean or a, or a less involved clean, one less step. It's just soapy water and then uh, clear, clean, clear water rinse out of the tap or whatever. And uh, certainly hair dryer to prevent flash rust on that. And, um, and then that's how we'll clean that. So that'll be all three of them, the electrical, the, the bake light non, um, heavy cleaner, the lighter cleaner, and the heavy cleaner. That's where we're starting. So these guys, they already did a first soak for about like two days in there. And uh, so that's why it's really clear here because they've already been sat in the crud clutter for like over 48 hours. And that's why this is so clear. So here we go. I got a toothbrush and I'm just gonna give it a little wipe down with a toothbrush to knock any of the stuff off that didn't come off. And then it's right into the soapy water. And these things will not rust underwater, right? Right. And I know that. And then these things here, this is the first one, that is the completely threaded inside where both, uh, whoopsie daisy, where both the screws or whatever you call it uh, thread into. So they're an easy clean. And then I've got the the tubes for the carbon blocks and the spring. 
we got it now. Well, we'll get the other tube. And I mean, this stuff is nice because it's not all that grubby. Screw there. There's a screw there. Whoopsie daisy, it fell into the clear one as well. And then here is the, the shiv, the spacer. And then of course the bottom bearing uh, retaining clip, bottom bearing retaining spring, our good friend there. And there's our buddy, the bottom bearing. So they're in there now. All I'm gonna do with these guys is, they've already had a little bit of a toothbrush. I'm just gonna kind of grab them and wipe them between my thumb and forefingers and toss them into the clear water for the rinse. I've already tested the, the hair dryer. So it's uh, hooked up and working. My next move is I'm going to remove these out of that uh, clear water, that clean water, rinse water, and put them in the sieve, move the water out of the way, and then I've got the hair dryer, and I've got the uh, mobile set for two minutes, so uh, I'll give it two minutes, two minutes worth of hair drying. So I'm going to get to work on that. I'm going to start the two minutes now. If I have to go longer, I'll go longer. But all I'm doing is scooping up the pieces with my fingers. And we can see that that's still clear water. That's actually still lukewarm. And I've dried off this hand, <laughs> the hand that's gonna turn on the hair dryer that's connected to the electricity. Yeah, that hand. And uh, so here we go. And I will edit out this noise in post. So that was two minutes of hair drying. And uh, so they're done now. So I'm just gonna set them aside. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna set them aside yet. I'm gonna get a paper towel, shop towel, and we're gonna lubricate them right now. I noticed that I do have a bit of rust right here on the bottom bearing spring clip or whatever you want to call it, retaining spring. So I've got a plastic bristle brush and I'm just going to knock that off like that. It doesn't really appear to be very thick or ingrained. so. It could be flash rust from right now, but I can't really definitively say that. I'm not, you know, going to blame myself. You know what, I'm an innocent man. <laughs> an innocent chub. So fair enough. But suffice to say, most of the other pieces, except I noticed on this little bit, and this is so small that it's almost not countable. That may be a little bit of rust. So we'll give it a little bit of buff with the plastic bristle brush. And this and plastic is pretty, well, plastic bristle brushes are forgiving on your fingers and your fingernails. You know, I don't wear nail, nail polish, but uh, they're probably not, plastic brushes are probably not good on nail polish anyway. Um, and like I said, I've inspected the pieces and most of them seem pretty good. So I've got a little bit of, this one's almost empty. This uh, Tri-Flow Superior Lubricant, but we'll go for it. And uh, there's th four drops on that, three or four on there, three or four on there, one on there, kind of one on the inside. Those I'm gonna to have to kind of stand up 
let them get a bit of wet on the inside with oil. And then this dude, those screws, same deal with these tubes. I'm just going to dab the tubes early. I'm not going to go nuts on the tubes. I'd be more inclined to worry about the screws and the bearing. So, so that's nice. You know, got done a nice job there. And uh, I'm going to take another piece of shop towel. And just so you know, when I can reuse, slightly used shop towels, I do. You know, I have to buy, for, I have to pay for them anyway. You know, they do cost money. And uh, so, yeah, this is nice that, I mean, a little bit of rust there, flash or not, I give it two minutes worth of, uh, of, of, uh, of drying. And uh, like I said, I'm going to edit it out in post. You don't need to, to listen to, to watch two minutes of silent hair drying. And you certainly don't need to watch and listen to two minutes of noisy hair drying. And these tubes I'm going to take uh, cotton swaps to. And the same with these screws, these uh, through threaded uh, Screws are where the nuts are. Oh, they had a lot of oil came out of that one. It still had a lot of oil in there. Cool. We'll give that one a scrub, see what we get from. And uh, so, yeah, it's been a while since I've done a motor, and I still have a few to do. Now I've got like about, well, I've got over 20 foot paddles to do. So, you know, don't worry, I'm not going to make 20 videos on foot pedals <laughs> but uh, I am trying to raise the awesomeness factor <laughs> so so there's lots of room ahead of me <laughs> but anyway yeah hey you got to have a little fun right so what do we got done so far these guys are pretty much ready uh, there, you couldn't even see where I was putting them while I was yapping. Sorry about that, you guys. These guys are pretty much ready, and I'm gonna let them sit there for a few minutes, and uh, then I'm gonna put them on a paper towel off to the side, and I'm gonna get going with this stuff right here. This one, two, three, four pieces. Get them in the water, and give them a scrub, a little, you know, rub, rub down or whatever. Then get them rinsed off and get them hair dried as well. So that's what's going on now. Okay, we'll get these guys in. This one is really really dirty down there in the in the hole in the pit. And uh, I do notice that there's a there's an oil wick here. Uh, I'm you know, I'm not familiar. The 301s have this or the 301As. I suppose I'm assuming the 301s do as well. More than likely. The 400s and 500s don't have that oil wick right there. And uh, and this was kind of plugged earlier, so I used just the tip of this to push it in, hope, well, I think it's in there, whatever. But I'll probably end up putting some grease in there, some motor grease in there or whatever. But like I say, the big part of the clean job is right down there. So we'll get that in there. And uh, I do have a brush like this, and this is more like a dust brush, so I'm not going to use that. I got this toothbrush, so I'll try that. And uh, I have a popular brand name of cotton swabs standing by that uh, I'm going to bring into the mix to. Really get down there and uh, buff it up clean, hopefully. So there, I'm giving everything a scrub-a-dub with the utility toothbrush. As much as I can on the inside there. And uh, I'm probably going to have to hair dry that. 
I don't know, it's got grease inside, I guess, but, and so here I go with the, well, there's not a lot coming off of there, is there? I think there's a wick down there. That's what it is. There's a wick in there. That's what that bumpy, rough looking thing is. And I don't even know if it comes out. But uh, anyway, we'll, we'll put that in there like that. So the wick and that oil tube are underwater. The rest of it's plastic, Bakelite. Um, these little guys will get them in and out pronto. They're quick clean. There. You know, that English guy used to always say when he was cooking easy peasy or something. Those guys, I'm just gonna, I'm just, I've just rubbed that. I don't, that's some kind of fiber. So I'm not gonna do much with that. And I'm not gonna put that in water. I'm just gonna, you know, wipe it down, oil it, and leave it at that. I'm not gonna get any more elaborate than I need to. So I can get rid of that now. So that's what I'll do next. I'll rearrange the, the work site here and we'll, we'll keep going. Now it's these guys' turn. And uh, with uh, the hairdryer. And you know, it's not gonna be a huge, there's not a lot that can rust on, on these things. And uh, I don't wanna bake them with uh, the heat from the hair. Help the hair dryer out here a little bit. And get into some of these crooks and crannies as much as I can. And then on the outside, get rid of the, the bulk moisture. So, and I just want to look at this paper towel that I'm using to dry it to see how much dirt is on it. And there's not, there's not really any dirt on there, so that's a good thing. And uh, these dudes, I'll give them a rattle. And I'll give them another blast with the HD with the hair dryer quickly. Cool. Now these pieces, I'm gonna take out and use the electrical contact cleaner on them. And I'm gonna pay particular attention to make sure that I get these contacts, these electrical contacts <laughs> cleaned with the electrical contact cleaner. So there's one, two, three, four. And then I have to get the commutator uh, copper wheel and also, you know, inside there. And I do have some fine grit sandpaper to sand that down after cleaning so that we'll have uh, very good electrical contact going from the commutator uh, up through the brushes and the tubes to these contacts and you know up to the up to the needle up to the needle bar so so that's nice we're two-thirds of the way already this is the last third to work on and this has already been done a few days ago this is the second cleaning this is the second take of uh, of this movie there was a lot of things that I needed to redo so at some point it just became better just to you know what let's start from uh, clip one again so so you'll see it in the title you know uh, take two or you know something anyway I'm gonna to get to work on that now. It is noisy out here. There's a lot of construction going on. I mean, it's summer, summertime in the city, right? And, uh, Okay, what I want to do now is take this plastic brush 
and I didn't do much spraying on this outside so I want to give it a, a brush here and then it'll eventually get a you know get a rubbing down with oil and then the oil will be dried off but while it's here let's see what we can get off this spindle now this worm gear how dirty is that See a little bit of grime there maybe, but nothing to speak of really. How's the commutator? Okay, this came off the commutator. Let me turn it again and we'll try the commutator again. A little bit of stuff. I got some 1500 grit sandpaper for the commutator. So I mean, the, the bearing is tight, like this whole unit is tight. There's no real play or looseness. And this is where the other bearing is in here. I can see there's some kind of spring clip with a, with a brake there, there to pry it out or spring it out or down or whatever. But uh, I've never been inside there. I don't know anything about that bearing in there. I just know that when we clean, we try to avoid having the electrical contact cleaner go down into that bearing. We don't want to. And it sounds smooth. There's no wobbly sound, and there's no actual wobble either. There is a bit of a shudder and a shake because my you know, the flesh does, does give. It's not like it's steel on steel or something. Anyway, so there's that part. Where's the other piece that I want to, is it in here still? Yeah. I've got him in a dirty shop towel now. And uh, we'll give it a wipe. And again, I want to see how much I'm getting off here. How much dirt I'm getting off the device. Like it's really porous and it's, I don't think if this thing would ever feel actually clean, you know? I mean, as long as it's clean, I mean, it, it, I mean it's not on display. It's inside a motor. But I think we're good there, like as far as... <gasps> that sounded awful brittle. So, might want to check that and that. Yikes. But anyway, onward and forward. And uh, having a riot, playing with... Uh, tan the 301a that i bought oh geez a couple of years ago on uh south shore of montreal in long Bay. so uh cool really cool having a lot of fun hope you guys are too i'm learning a bunch i hope this video was beneficial to you that you learned something from it maybe and uh had some fun doing the learning so I'm glad that you're here and please do come back next time. The next video, I'm going to put this motor together and uh, at some point we're going to turn on the juice, give it a jolt of electricity and uh, watch what it does. But uh, no matter what it does, it'll be clean. <laughs> Adios amigos.